After club activities were over, I returned to the dorm. Come on, cheer up. You are not. Ever since it was decided that I'd be the pilot, Kotori has been feeling down. Just because you can't pilot it doesn't mean you can't fly. That glider is a double-seater. There are two types of glider cockpit, single-seater and a double-seater. Obviously, the single-seater fits one person while the double-seater fits two. Once I'm able to fly, you are the first person I'm taking with me. Good! Alright, let's get ready for dinner. Hello, we are back! I push the wheelchair through the doorway. Kanako, thanks so much for yesterday. She? Who's she? Huh? Who's that? <laughs> As we enter the dining hall with the force of the Saint Bernard from the other day, an unknown girl came flying out to hug Kotori. So that's her sister. Her big sister. Kotori's big sister bursts into tears as she held her and rubbed her cheeks against hers. It hurts? Why does it hurt? Does she have a beard? Realizing that she was suffocating her little sister, she let go of Kotori. Who's she? Kotori introduced us briskly in a way that implied I don't like doing introductions. Yeah, what an asshole. Yeah, yeah, hurry up with the introduction. Nice to meet you. I'm Aoi Minase, the current dorm manager. I bowed my head and Kotori's sister quickly stood up and straightened out her messed up clothes. Hibari. She seems very proud to say that she is Kotori's older sister. Your job? She gave me a deep bow and passed me something in the wrapper of a famous Japanese sweets shop. Thank you very much. I was surprised at first, but she seems like a perfectly sensible person. She's gentle and seems like a nice... a little different from her... What? And seems like a nice... Girl, a little different from her little sister. I hope it's Hargan Darch. Kotori rushes straight to the fridge. You can eat it after dinner. No. Well, Kotori had the fridge open and was rummaging around inside, her sister went over to her. How does she know about that? There are other boarders outside the dining hall. Nihibari breathes a sigh of relief. Oh yeah, she said just now that she was working away from Japan. Kanako said before that her sister hadn't been here for a while, but that was why. Where did you go? 
海外出張お姉ちゃんドイツ語とスペイン語と英語とスウェーデン語がペラペラだから I don't really get it, but that's amazing. 私は嫌だって言ったのに会社の命令で仕方なく外国語勉強してるのはただの趣味だもんね小鳥ちゃんと会えなくなるくらいならいっそ会社辞めちゃおうかとも思ったんだけどいやだからそれはやりすぎだってお姉ちゃんい,いえそんなことありません本当は明日帰国するはずだったんだけどもう心配で心配でいても立ってもいられなくて一日早く切り上げてきたのよ She said while clinging onto k o t o r i ねえ、本当は何があったのお姉ちゃんにみんな聞かせてちょうだいもう、もういいって。大したことじゃないの。2ヶ月遅れの5月病みたいなもんよ。Hibali looked at me with tearful eyes. She was trying to say that if I knew anything, I should spill the beans. Um, I think that everything's okay with k o t o r i Today she went to do club activities even though we had a day off from school. We are in the soaring club, right, Kotori? Soaring club? What was she shaking just now? Have you heard of gliders? Well, it's like an airplane. It's used to fly through the sky. As Kotori desperately tries to cover it up, she signals me with her glaring eyes.、Uh, that's right, we don't just fly, we build gliders and stuff. I don't really know why, but I follow her lead. So. <laughs> Hibari looked like she'd accepted it for the time being and didn't pursue the issue any further. Kotori seemed relieved, it seemed like there was some reason why she shouldn't be doing club activities. Anyway, something smells good. Just now, a smell that stimulated my hunger started drifting through the air. Oh, a Spanish dish. Hibari's home cooking was superb. Paella, a Spanish style cooked rice with shrimp and shellfish. It was quite refined, so it went down really well with everyone in the dorm. Also, after the main course was dessert sweet bean jelly from a famous Japanese sweets shop. It was perfect. Apparently, Hibari had been visiting Flying Fish Manor since a while back and had been making food for Kotori and the other boarders. Since Kotori is disabled, Hibari had been given special permission to come help at any time by the owner and caretaker. Thanks to her, the level of satisfaction with tonight's dinner was exceptionally high. <sighs> you seem very familiar with Hibari. At the dinner table, Hibari was very open with not only her sister, but with all of the other boarders. Hmm? I guess that when she says like that, she's not talking about her disability, she means her personality. She's got such a cute little sister, she can't help but want to take care of her. While we speak, Hibari pushes Kotori and her wheelchair out of the dining hall. Thank you for the meal, Hibari. Even though she had just gotten back from an overseas business trip, she's full of energy. Despite her pretty and petite appearance. No, I can do that. She says it like it was all her doing. Kotori must also be proud of her sister. Kotori, give me a hand later, okay? You ate that delicious food too, didn't you? <laughs> For some reason, Kotori's reaction seems a little cuter than usual. It must be her sister's influence. I would watch that. Together with her sister, acting downhearted, Kotori headed to the bathroom. 
As I watched them leave like that, I remember that Kutai was desperately trying to cover up that she is in the sewing club just now. It must be because her family would worry if she were to do anything dangerous. It seemed very unnatural to me and it preyed on my mind a little. だからって、お腹出して寝ちゃダメよ。ちゃんと歯を磨いて1日1回。うん。3回お姉ちゃんにメールして。わかった。わかったから。皆さん。Yes. Sure, leave it to me. I thought I sounded a little arrogant, but I answered as the door mother and as Kotori's friend. Worried about her sister until the end, Hibari got in the car and left. Today is Monday, the start of the week. It looks like she is going straight to work. She came here in her own car and apparently her workplace and her house are about an hour away. <sighs> She's a good sister, isn't she? Would Kotori be able to leave her sister alone? Okay then, uh, shall we go to school now? In the sixth class of the day, I felt restless. When this finishes, school is done for the day. In other words, it's time for club activities. Yesterday was Sunday, so clubs take the day off. I was told that my pilot training would start today, so I couldn't stop myself from feeling like I was itching to go. The teacher's laid-back way of speaking actually makes me feel even more annoyed. While I stare at the clock on the wall at the back of the classroom, I wait for the time to pass. It rang! The bell rang! Nah. The teacher repeats the contents of the lesson, then the class a chairperson gives the order to stand, then bow. See you teach! As I go into the hallway, Kotori, whose seat is near the doorway, is already outside waiting. I can't do much about that, my seat's next to the window. Now hold on, Ageha's not here yet. We looked into the classroom where Ageha was surrounded by several girls talking to them about something. It looks like there was something in the lesson just now that they didn't understand and they were asking her about it. They make a big deal about grades at this school. If you fail any subjects, it's possible that you have to repeat the year. It's not like Ageha's grades are anything special, but in certain subjects, she is usually near the top of the rankings. That's why, just before the end of term exams, her friends go to her for help. Hey, Ageha! Ageha waves uh, through a gap in the wall of girls surrounding her. She said it would take just a little longer. So, so. But she asks us to wait for her. Oh jeez! Our first choice. Should we wait for Ageha or go ahead with Kotori? It seems a little bit rude to just go ahead without telling her. So if I were in this situation, I would probably wait for Ageha. Let's wait for Ageha. She said she'd be finished soon, so I wait here. Kotori seemed a little disgruntled as she said that and went off without me. So I made her mad. Well, that happens all the time. She went on ahead. Yeah? Ah, uh, I said ah uh, without thinking. I don't think that's it. She replies when you greet her. 
In Kotori's case, I'm pretty sure she wouldn't do that if she hated Akeha. Really? Well, we live in the same dorm. Ryoko is one of the boarders and is in the same grade as us. She's also our guest friend. But I hardly ever speak to her at school. Yeah, maybe you have a point, but what is this all of a sudden? Are you jealous or something? Are you angry about it? Is this jealousy or something? Hi? Well, you and I are childhood friends and we've been close ever since we were kids. I think of you as one of my best friends. If we are talking about when we were kids, Agia was my very best friend. Even if there was a blank of five years, that shouldn't have changed. But in Agia's eyes, recently Kotori has been my closest friend. Sure, we do spend a lot of time together. But that must be why she's feeling jealous. <laughs> She says miserably, but that's not really how I see it. I still think of you as my very best friend. I'll help you when you're in trouble, the same way you do for me. I want you to trust me a little more. Akia looks at me like, how come we started talking about this? Oh yeah, I'm glad. She's jealous of him. Me? Yeah, sometimes. It's because he's the protagonist. What the hell? Nakia put her hands on top of her head and let out a sigh. How are we going to do the flight training? Once all of us second years had gathered, I asked Amane that. Amane has been playing around with a bundle of tangled PC cables, so we can only see her from the other side of the desk. Flying? I imagine that would be something like doing weight training to build physical strength. But I still can't fly, can I? There's no way we can fly using those broken wings. As requested, I tidy away the boxes piled up against the wall of the garage. Since before Amane and the others started coming here, this garage has had many mysterious boxes and antique parts left inside. There's a sword and a spear here? Are they real? There's a broken toy gun too. Of course, the sword and the spear are well-made replicas, so that's lame. As for the other things, if I had bought them, I would think, why the hell did I buy this? And would definitely regret buying them. There are also many things that look like souvenirs that were bought on school leaving trips. I could easily tell that the members of long ago made this garage their own. <laughs> As the lights were turned off, the inside of the garage became pitch black. Amane was operating, uh, operating some kind of machine. Then on the wall, where all the boxes were before, a PC screen appears. Are we going to watch an instructional video? Sitting down in the chair that Amane had prepared, I was handed a computer game controller. What are we doing? Are we using Oculus Rift Flight Simulator? I've heard of them, but I'm not exactly sure what they are. It's like a yeah, 
これは風ヶ浦の地形と我々のグライダーに特化したシミュレーターだからな At Amanis command, the screen changes. Kazagoda, the town that we were all familiar with, was shown as a landscape. It was projected onto the wall. This is shown in pretty CG, which is at least on the level of the cutscenes from RPGs on the latest consoles. Agia mumbles while looking at the screen being projected. Okay. I show that I am impressed with Amanis' amazing work and get myself fired up. A glider modeled in CG appears on the screen. Do a barrel roll! Although it's actually called an aileron roll. On the screen, the longitudinal axis that runs along the length of the fuselage and the movement based on rotation on that axis were displayed. This movement is called rolling. This time, the lateral axis coming out sideways from the fuselage and the movement based on rotation on this axis were shown. This movement raises and lowers the nose and is known as pitching. Going through the fuselage vertically was the vertical axis, and the movement based on rotation along this axis was displayed. This movement, yawing, moves the nose left and right. Yes, I think so. I see, so the basics are quite simple then. Kudori and Agia are listening to the conversation and nodding along. Amanda selects the mode on the PC and the screen changes again. The sky and the horizon are projected across the wall. The glider is already flying through the air, but because I'm used to video games, this feels incredibly slow. It doesn't really feel like it's moving forward at all. I've seen the cockpit many times, so I know about that. Oh, the yoke is the stick that comes out from between the pilot's legs. I've seen some scenes in movies where pilots are flying fighter planes and the yoke is the thing that they are holding onto. It has a button on it and if you push it, it launches missiles. Of course, this glider doesn't have anything like that. That's a shame. It's like the steering wheel of a car. Then there are the left and right rudder pedals, one of each. They are, are operated by pushing them with your feet. それぞれコントローラーに対応している左のアナログスティックが操縦管 LR ボタンがラダーペダルだ無茶をするとストールして墜落するから気をつけろ OK 操縦管だがこれはさっき説明した3つのうち2つローリングとピッチングを操作できる左右に倒せばその方向に機体がロールする I move the analog stick in other words the yoke slowly to the left It's a little slow but the aircraft responds The horizon in the middle of the screen leans to the right 操縦管を倒すとどうして機体が傾くのいい質問だそれは操縦管でエルロンを操作しているからだエルロン It's like Kurori has a big question mark on her face as she hears that unfamiliar word 主翼についている補助翼のことだ主翼の外側の後ろについていて操縦管を左に倒せば左翼のエルロンが上がり右翼のエルロンが下がるそうすると
左翼の揚力は減少逆に右翼の揚力は増大するから機体は左にバンクつまり傾いて旋回をする Leaning and turning her, it's the same as a bicycle. A bicycle has a handlebar, but you don't turn by moving it left and right, you turn by leaning against the bike. So, you can also use the more to 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 the more I tried pushing the yoke forward. Wow! The screen moves and the percentage of the screen filled with the ground increases. The aircraft points downwards and I feel a much greater sense of speed. I see. I imagine it sliding down on the air. This time I tried pulling the yoke back. I was no longer able to see the horizon. It felt like it was floating and I realized the speed was dropping. When Kutori was playing around with the tails on the paper airplanes, she made one do a beautiful loop the loop. Amana nods her head as if to say, well done. Pitching. Tsumari, Joge no Gokiwa, Suihe Biyoku ni Tsuita, Elevata to you, Kaji de Sosa Sri. Of course, we've heard of an elevator before, but this was different to the type that goes up and down in buildings. Tsujo, Kishu, Ageleba, Yoruku, Takamaru. In other words, the aircraft will rise. Daga, Age Sugiruto, Kakuni Yoruku, Shina Kotoni Naru, Kiduga. You can't fly if there's no lift, and it will inevitably fall. そうなったらもう落ちるしかないんですかいや、立て直すことは可能だ。ストールはどんな時にも起こり得るから、ストールからの回復訓練はしっかり積んでおく必要がある。Okay. When it is suggested that falling is a possibility, I find it hard to breathe. When you are flying through the air, even a tiny mistake can cost you your life. Huh? I'm gonna put back hard on the analog stick. The nose points further and further upwards and then... The aircraft stopped moving as if it was floating. Then the screen started spinning like crazy as it began hurtling towards the ground. Game over. Game over ってとまあこんな感じだ。訓練ではわざとストールやスピンを起こしてそこから回復する練習をするんだ。実際に空でやると怖いぞ。死ぬかと思うぞ。If you're scared of heights, maybe that really is true. Because of how well the simulation is made, I got a powerful enough impression just from the graphics. I'm gonna select the mode and once again we start flying. In the simulator, this is controlled with the L and R buttons.右を踏めば機種が右を向き、左を踏めば機種が左を向く。ヨーイングの動きを制御するんだ。横を向くの？でも曲がるときは主翼についてるペルロンを使うんでしょ？ペルロンだけで旋回した場合、グライダーは正面
旋回したい時はエルロンとラダー両方が必要とそうだけどそれだけじゃまだ不十分だ旋回中機体を傾けると揚力が減るので機体が大きく降下してしまうなるべく高度を保ったまま旋回するには操縦桿を横に倒しながら少しだけ後ろに引いてやる必要があるんだ When you turn, you must use all of the axes at the same time. Using what and when looks like it's quite intuitive. 以上、飛んでいる時に必要な操作はこれだけだ。After ending her explanation, I'm gonna turn on the lights. 結構簡単なのね。そうだね。When I heard unfamiliar words like aileron and rudder, it sounded complicated, but once I tried it, it was quite easy. Moving the yog backwards, forwards, left and right, and pressing the left and right pedals, that's all there is to it. Acrobat でもしない限り、難しい操作はほとんどない。グライダー乗りに必要なのは、風を見つける能力なんだ。Find the wind? どこにどんな風が吹いているか。サーマルはどこにあるのか。そうして見つけた風に、上手に乗るることができるかどうか。So you mean you need knowledge, experience and intuition? そんなところだな。ケーキ類の見方はおいおい覚えてもらうとして。まずは慣れることだな。あとはこっちのパソコンの画面で練習してみてくれ。Okay, got it. I sat down in front of the PC and started practicing immediately. Club activities have finished and we are on the way home. Next time on If My Heart Had Wings. Thanks for watching and have a nice day. Bye bye. <laughs>